Hello and welcome to some of this week's popular news stories. I'm Vivian Gilbert. A city in Texas is facing a disaster in their water supply after a six-year-old boy dies from a brain-eating amoeba. Officials in the city of Lake Jackson, Texas issued a disaster declaration on Saturday in response to the drinking water, water that they get out of the Brazos River, contaminated with a brain-eating amoeba, and the city is under a do not use water order and has requested an emergency declaration from the state, according to CBS News. This happened after six-year-old Josiah McIntyre died contracting the rare amoeba and his mother, Maria Castillo, said the child died on September 8th, according to KPRC Houston. CBS News also reported that the do not use water advisory will remain in place until the authorities' water system has been thoroughly flushed and tests on the water samples show the system's water is again safe to use. But authorities said in a statement that it was unclear how long it would be before the tap water was again safe. America is seeing new angst as new reports come about current President Donald Trump not paying taxes. Reports have broadcast how Trump avoided taxes for allegedly 10 to 15 years. The New York Times released a report on Sunday that revealed Trump's tax returns. CNN reported on how Trump refused to talk about his tax returns and blasted the Times report as totally fake news. The death toll of COVID-19 worldwide hits 1 million. According to the New York Times, the virus has taken more lives than malaria, influenza, aka the flu, cholera, and measles combined. COVID-19 started to spread in January in Wuhan, China. The New York Times also reported that the toll compiled from official counts, yet one that far understates how many have really died, and it may already have overtaken tuberculosis and hepatitis as the world's deadliest infectious disease. With the NFL having a chance to get started this year, it may shut down, according to ESPN. According to ESPN, at least nine members of the Tennessee Titans have produced confirmed positive test results in the past four days. A rash of coronavirus infections that could potentially have spread during Sunday's game against the Minnesota Vikings at U.S. Bank Stadium. Games for week four are scheduled to play for Sunday, but that could change with the Titans game being moved in Nashville against the Pittsburgh Steelers to Monday or the Titans game being moved to week seven if the Steelers week seven game is moved to week eight against the Baltimore Ravens, according to ESPN's Adam Scheffler. Disney is laying off 28,000 workers in its parks in California and Florida. According to Fox 11 Los Angeles, the cuts are because of COVID-19. According to CNN, the cuts will affect the Disney Parks Experiences and Products Unit. And the company has said that 67% of its employees laid off will be part-time workers. CNN also reported Disney Parks and Resorts Division has more than 100,000 U.S. employees and its theme parks and resort business is arguably been taken as the biggest hit of all. The presidential debate was Tuesday. Current President Donald Trump and former Vice President and Democrat nominee Joe Biden faced off against each other, surrounding topics of what America is dealing with in these current times.
The debate, however, was a bit nerve-rattling with current President Donald Trump overriding former Vice President and Democrat candidate Joe Biden in speech. This led to Biden actually having to say, quote, will you shut up, man, according to CNN. The next debate between the candidates will be October 15th in Miami. That was some of this week's popular news stories. I'm Vivian Gilbert, and I'll see you next time.